Welcome back again to the Serato DJ Lite tutorial series on how to get started as a DJ. My name is Jamie Halley from Crossfader and in this tutorial we're going to focus on another of the performance features. In the last lesson we looked at looping and in this one we're going to focus on the hot cues. This is something that we have available to us within the DJ software and it really helps out when mixing and transitioning between different tracks. Let's take a closer look. A hot cue is a point in the track that you can jump to or work from at any point in the mix. To set a hot cue, you just need to literally click on any of these plus icons. They're coloured nicely, red, orange, blue and yellow, and then to delete just the X icon in the corner. Where to set hot cues, now that's another matter. We need to listen through the track and decide on different points that might be useful to us as a DJ. Let's just press play on this track. This has got a really long intro and then it builds up and drops in. Now we might decide that we don't really like this drop and we like the second drop. Let's check it out. And this drop here might have a bit more to it. So you could decide to put a hot cue, drag your waveform back to the drop and set a hot cue here. You can use the mouse to click the plus icon or if I delete that, we can use the one, two, three, four on the keyboard by themselves. If we press number one, it sets a hot cue and that's a good shortcut to use. Once the track's playing, we can keep pressing one and it jumps to that point. So for example, you could use the hot cue in a way to skip out part of the track. As it's about to drop, I'm going to hit number one on the keyboard and force it to the new drop. That's one way of using the hot cue. Another good place to set the hot cue is somewhere to work from in the mix. On Shake That by Josh Hunter and Lewis Roper, I'm going to scroll further on into the track and actually set up a hot cue on the first breakdown that we come to. So hopefully you can hear there where the phrase changes. Let's just set it off again and stop. So this point here is where we need to set our hot cue. We want to set them on the start of the phrase on the first beat. Set up the hot cue, let's just double check it. That sounds good. Let's stop the track there and synchronize both tracks together. Now what I'm going to do is go towards the end of Ben Rainey's Another House Tool build up. So as it's building up in this second breakdown, we're going to put the crossfader across so we can't hear shake that and then set it off by pressing six to jump to the hot cue and then pressing enter when we want to set the track off. Now I'm going to set it off when I think it might sound quite nice and we're going to swap the drops over and play. Start blending between the two tracks. All the way across. Carry on blending. Now I'm going to loop the Another House tool as it's building up. Carry on blending. Ready for it to drop in and cut. And there we have successfully swapped the drops of the two tracks over. That's a really good way to utilize the hot cues is to jump to and work from different points in the track. Let's do one more example from the bass and garage crate. I'm going to load up Mic Defect back up onto the left hand side and the UVIP track by Sketchy onto the right hand side. Before we can play the two tracks, we need to prepare them. To do this, I'm going to drag the crossfader over to the right hand side and just play the track UVIP by Sketchy. Listening through, I want to try and pick out the phrase that leads into the build up. So if I just scroll through the waveform, we've got this breakdown and I want to eliminate all of this. I don't want to mix from the start, I want to mix one a bit later on in the track. Let's listen for the change and set up a hot cue on that point. Getting ready to pause. There we have that beat. I'm going to drag the waveform back, set up a hot cue, and then we're ready to go. Setting off the mic defect backup track, dragging the crossfader across, and then synchronizing both tracks. After this drops in, it's a bit of a different style track, so we're going to let it drop. push the volume ever so slightly and then getting ready on the right hand side to press enter to set the track off remember think about the phrasing and play 
give it a little nudge with the plus and minus if it needs it and then start to blend building up and three two all the way across and you can perform a very quick mix swapping into the drop of the next track the key to this is setting up your hot cues on the phrases and utilizing the phrasing of the music to make this transition. Now that you understand some of the performance features, start utilizing them on your own music in your own library. Add them and mix them in and amongst the Crossfader music pack to start putting together your own mini set. Thank you so much for watching and taking part in this tutorial series. If you want to watch the next lesson straight away, just click the thumbnail or it'll be in the description. I look forward to helping you start your own DJ journey.